How's it going guys? I'm taking a break from live streams and stuff and I'm going back to my real story time videos. I know I ran out of ideas, I'm sorry about that. So I'm gonna tell you a real story time today and this is gonna be about an ex-girlfriend, so mostly, and like I dated this year. If you wanna learn about another girlfriend, I dated another ex-girlfriend. I will make a video later on that, so let me get right into this video. So, I met this girl, like, on Snapchat, like, like, at first she said, oh, let's hang out and stuff, I was like, sure, and then she texted me when I was walking over there, and she said, oh, I'm sorry if this sounds weird, if I'm sounding weird and you're gonna think of me differently, I think you're cute, I was like, thank you, and I told her, I told her, like, flat out, thank you, I was like, that's pretty nice, and I met her and her friend, and, like, she ditched her friend, her friends she was hanging out with. Like, me and her ditched her friends, and she was looking for me. And I found her, and she was getting close to me, sitting close to me, kept on sitting close to me. I barely knew the girl, I just, like, met her, I wanted, like, I was bored and I had no one to hang out with. Like, I didn't have that many friends at the time. But, and then, you know, one game another we kissed at my school like at a different campus I don't go to that campus but we sat down right there like not yeah we sat down right there at, by the stair thing at that school and we kissed right by the camera just out right by the camera and stuff and uh then after that we went out <laughs> we went out like we we're holding hands and stuff and I really knew the girl so I was nervous I was still nervous, I barely knew the girl, like, you're dating someone you barely knew, and after that, like, we went on a couple dates, like, we spent all our time together, I used to go to the park, sneak, sneak to the park to go see her when I was skating, and we, she used to meet me at the park, and we used to do stuff at the park, make out, talk, stuff like that, do stuff in the dark, but not, like, sexual, sexual stuff, like, humping and stuff, you know, stuff like that triumphant and stuff and she told me that she loved me a lot and I thought it was real so a couple of weeks later and all this other stuff we had a lot of dates and stuff she met my parents she lied to my parents and on the same day she cheated on me with some guy I think he was a step down from me like I'm just being honest a step down from me like if you've seen this guy you could tell he does, he did a lot of weird stuff, and he touched it on, he touched on girls and stuff, and tried to do all this other stuff, and, like, no one minded, but he doesn't, like, touch on them sexually, but, like, try to grab their hand and be all over them and stuff, and no one really knew, but if you see how he walks, he walks pretty gay, pretty, pretty gay, like, and he's ugly looking too, by the way, he's really ugly looking, and then, like, I reported that, and... Now, like, I got so much backlash from so many people doing that because negative people, you know, so, so much negative people got so many backlash because I was upset and it was, it was actually the truth, you know, I don't know why people were being like complete assholes about it, you know, just flat out assholes. I uh, blame my ex mostly. And then she told me that like, oh, nothing's going on. Then why do you have a picture of him on your screensaver? Like... Why don't you have a picture of someone you're dating on your screensaver? saver? Get some questions. She kept on like doing that. She's like, oh, you can look at my text, all this and that. And this guy has been texting people, texting girls like they're dating. This guy was, this guy dates so many, so many girls and then breaks up with them a couple weeks later. And I don't get it, you know. My friend knows about it. He, if you don't know, Eric's been on my channel. You know, you know Eric. He's a cool guy, but like, you know, I hope that other, that kid, like, I'm not really sure, you know, he's just really messed up for some reason, I don't know why, he's like, uh, I don't know, I think he has a mental issue, I'm not really for certain, like, I don't blame him, but he has, like, he texts me, he's like, oh, I didn't know she did this, did that, I think it was mostly her fault than his fault, but it's mostly his fault for, you know, being so, you know, all over the place with girls. You know, I don't get it, you know, 
it's just really odd. It's odd to think sometimes, you know. It's just really odd. You know. But I just, like, never seen a person in a while, like, start a fight with, like, everyone started a fight with me that aren't being mean to me or stuff like that. You know, I don't talk to those crazy people anymore. I just flat out. They're just so crazy and freaky. I don't like freaky or crazy people, you know. It's just really hard nowadays it's just to find the best people. So then after that, like, um, my ex, she was still bothering me and stuff with stuff. And then I blocked her and stuff. And then I gave her a goodbye. And after that, um she uh she took blame for everything but no one would believe me no one would believe me for taking that she took blame for everything she actually did she said i'm sorry all this is my fault she said that i was like uh it's okay like uh, i don't forgive her like i don't really forgive her like i never did i don't forgive anyone that hurts me you know that's just like that's meant like you have to like be on my good side you have to be like you have to make sure you have to, like, what's it called? I only forgive people that didn't do anything that bad to me. But, you know, it's hard for me to forgive people sometimes. It's just really hard. And it's really upsetting to think, like, you got hurt. Like, I got hurt a lot by people. Like, like they're still going around lolly dallying and stuff. And after they hurt me hurting other innocent people and that's really upsetting to me and that's what I think of it you know like I don't get it you know like I got hurt like that before and I'm not really sure but I guess um, everything will be fine in the long run and you know if you have a similar story like that comment down below what kind of story you had and you know I feel sorry for you if that happened to you in your life, and, like, I'm not really okay now, like, it's like something else is going on in my life and stuff, you know, and all this other stuff, and I will probably make a video on it soon, and if I get permission for it, you know, usually you need permission for certain videos. Like, um, I told my ex, could I make this video, like, ask for, for permission, she said no. And I made it anyway because I don't talk to her anymore. And, well, see you guys later. And bye.